I'm Sonic Kim, America's Face of Dating, and today we have a question from a viewer asking how to be more confident when talking to your crush. And I must say, I've received so many comments and so many questions on my TikTok and my Instagram, and thank you for all the love and support. But I'm trying my very best to get back to every single comment and question, okay? But this one specifically, it stuck out to me, not only because I liked it, but because in the past week of loan, I've gotten like 20 questions like it. And so here's the funny thing about confidence is that some days you may feel like you're on top of the world, that you have all of it. And then some days you feel like when you need it most, it is nowhere to be found. And so a lot of people, they try to think their way into being confident. When they try to think their way into being confident, then they tend to run out of things to say in a conversation. They then become stuck in their head trying to think of that next best line. And so their crush can literally see it happening every single second that goes by their confidence, their self-esteem is draining to zero because they're literally choking, trying to figure out what to say next. Their brain begins to panic. They become desperate and mess things up permanently. And so I'm going to give you some instant way to boost your confidence. Okay. It's kind of temporary, but then at the tail end of this, I'm going to give you some more of a long-term solution so you can build up your confidence over time. And like I said, the solution for this is that you need to get out of your head. You're stuck in your head. You need to get out of your head. Have you ever noticed when you tend to drink alcohol, then your game tends to 10 X, right? Literally your game tends to literally explode. You become a, a master flirter. And that's not coincidence because alcohol, it helps you come back into that present moment right? Alcohol brings you back into the present moment because a lot of people today, they are prisoners of their thoughts and their mind. And so when they drink alcohol, it allows them to escape those thoughts for a couple hours before they eventually return. And so what I need you to do instead of focusing on thinking your way into being confident, because Einstein, he even said that, what did he say? He said that a problem cannot be solved with the same level of thinking that created it to begin with, okay? And so what I need you to, here's an example of this. So the University of Cambridge, they did a study with a group of clinically depressed people, right? They took them into a room and they had them look into a mirror. They had them, they're like, okay, we need you to smile as big as you possibly can and looking at yourself inside of this mirror. So they started smiling. And while they're smiling, they asked them after about 30 seconds, they said, all right, while you're smiling now, keep smiling as big as you possibly can. While you're smiling, I need you to feel depressed. And up to 90% of these clinically depressed people said that they could not feel depressed. And that is not coincidence, okay? Not coincidence because the mind and the body is connected. And so when you are talking to your crush, you can use that for confidence. So if the mind and the body are connected and you can literally not feel depressed in a moment, you can cure your depression instantly just from smiling in a mirror. Imagine, couldn't you correlate that to confidence while you're talking to your crush? Absolutely. And so while you're talking to your crush, if you start panicking, you start feeling like, what do I got to say next? Like I'm running out of things to say. I don't know what to say next. You start to panic internally. Then you need to take a look at, instead of trying to think your way back into confidence, get out of your head. Focus on your body. What is your body doing in that current moment? Your body is probably, your shoulders are probably slumped in. You're leaning in too much. Okay, you're darting your eyes, you're messing, you're fidgeting. Your breathing is shallow. You're like, <sighs> you have shallow breathing. You're not smirking. You're not relaxed. And so what the body's communicating to yourself in that moment, for example, with the depression, the depression study, is that when the people were smiling in, in the mirror, the body is literally sending messages to the brain, okay, you are smiling as big as you possibly can right now, which means that you should be feeling happy. And so the brain literally starts to have happier thoughts, calmer thoughts. But when your body, when you're giving, when you're sending communications to your brain from your body that you are not confident, for example, the fidgety movements, the darting the eyes, the leaning in too much, then your body is communicating to the brain, okay, I am low status in this situation. Okay, I'm a little desperate, I'm a little panicky. And so your brain literally starts to have panicking thoughts. But what I want you to do, instead of focusing on your brain and thinking your way into confidence, I now want you to change your body in that moment. For example, if you just return your body back to normal, if you put your shoulders back, your chest out, take a string from your head, lift your body up. Make eye contact 80% of the time, 20% of the time, look away while you're talking. 80% of the time, eye contact. Deep breathing into your belly. <sighs> I think someone calls it breathing into your balls. Breathe into your balls every single breath. Smirk a little bit. 
then your body is going to start communicating to the brain, okay, like, I, I feel comfortable in this situation. I feel confident. Like, my body is positioned confidently. And then your brain is suddenly going to have the words to say because you're calmer in that situation. In every single conversation that you have for the next three weeks, the next 21 days, since it takes 21 days to actually build up a habit, I need you to be consciously aware of two things. And the first is I need you to be focused on what you are doing with your body. If you feel like you're unconfident in the moment, if you can't think of the next best thing to say, then you need to be focused on what your body is doing in that moment. Shake it out, reposition yourself, fix your posture in that moment. And that's one of them. The second thing that I need you to be consciously aware of, you need to become laser beam focused on every single second for the next three weeks. I know it sounds difficult, but trust me, in the long term, you're gonna be so grateful for this. You need to be laser beam focused on how you are communicating to yourself in that moment because if you feel unconfident, while you're talking to your crush, then you are subconsciously telling yourself, subconsciously communicating to yourself that in this moment, you don't feel like you are worthy for her. You don't feel confident. You don't feel like you look good enough for her or that you are good enough for her. And let me tell you something that if somebody came up to you on the street and they looked you in the face, pointed at you in the face and said, you suck, you're a loser. You don't deserve her. You don't deserve the things that you want in life. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to sit back and be like, yeah, you're right about that, actually. I, I think you're right about that, actually. Fuck no. You're going to look him back in the face and tell him, fuck you. Because if so, if you're not going to let anyone else talk to you like that, then why the fuck are you letting yourself talk to yourself like that? I rest my case. So for the next three weeks, I need you to be consciously aware of those two things. And watch the difference in the way that people look at you, the way that people actually respond to you. Okay? I'm Sonic Kim, America's Face of Dating. Three... Two, one, go.